Hala. First of all, let me ask you as a child which vehicle on land were you the most amazed to see? For me, it is always a train. I wonder how such a long, bulky vehicle moves so fast along the narrow rails. For long-distance travel, 70% of people choose train rides since it is pocket-friendly and easily accessible compared to flights. But how the trains have evolved over time is even more astounding and interesting to know about. From steam engines to bullet trains, the journey of evolution of locomotives is a story to be told with great pride and joy to humankind. Before going to the video, a warm welcome folks to our YouTube channel. Now, let's move on. Humans have been incredibly intelligent beings from time immemorial. We have always invented new things to make our lives better. One such notable invention is locomotives. Before the introduction of trains, long-distance transportation was really difficult and time-consuming. It took months to cross the country. When trains were introduced, they took only days. Goods could be transported across states faster than ever before. The railway industry empowered us to develop our civilization with unexplainable consequences that no one had ever expected. The modern-day train service has a history of 200 years to tell. Today trains are used in various ways, from small city trams, electric subway trains, distance trains that are equipped with dining cars and sleeping quarters for longer journeys and freight trains to high-speed bullet trains that reach 300 to 500 kilometers per hour. Before talking about the steam engine's invention, ancient Greece, Egypt, and industrial Europe had used horse carts to pull train carts through rails to reduce the effort of making goods bidirectional. The journey of trains up to date started from the steam engines. Mechanical engineer James Watt shook up the industry with his Watt steam engine in 1781. Watt investigated the use of high-pressure steam action on pistons. This led to the development of smaller engines that might be used to power a vehicle, and he patented a design for a steam-driven train in 1784. His employee William Murdoch produced a prototype of a self-propelled steam carriage that year. The steam engine was developed and spread across Europe and slowly all around the world. Its first run was on February 21, 1804, but it was not a complete success. Nevertheless, initial innovations were on the right track, and Trevetha continued experimenting. The first commercial steam locomotive started its journey in 1812. This locomotive type came into normal use until the 1950s, when it fell out of favor and other types took over. Diesel-powered trains was a success story after steam engines. The first diesel-powered locomotive appeared in 1912 in Switzerland. It wasn't commercially successful, and the First World War stopped further testing. An electric engineer at General Electric in 1914, Hermann Lemp developed an electric system to transfer power from the engine to the wheels. This proved successful and experiments continued in the United States. General Electric produced a few small switching locomotives in the 1930s. The famous 4-4 Tonner switcher was introduced in 1940. Westinghouse Electric and Baldwin collaborated to build switching locomotives starting in 1929. In 1929, the Canadian National Railways became the first North American railway to use gallons of diesel in mainline service with two units, 9000 and 9001 from Westinghouse. Diesel locomotives were more practical than steam. They needed less maintenance and were less pollutant. They are still in use today. Electrical trains was another mesmerizing victory in the field of the railway industry. The best one is electrical trains that could be overhead or through the third rail. The first known electric train was built in 1837 by chemist Robert Davidson of Aberdeen in Scotland and powered by Govanic cells. Davidson later built a larger locomotive Govani exhibited at the Royal Scottish Society of Arts exhibition in 1841. The first one was patented in 1890 by Jean-Jacques Hillman, and it crossed from paper to reality in 1893. This type of locomotive has higher performance and lower operational costs. They cause the least pollution compared to diesel trains and are widely used today. French TGV, which is electric, holds the world record for the fastest train with wheels at 507 to 4.8 kilometers per hour. Hybrid locomotives was a very innovative invention. Hybrid locomotives have a battery in addition to a fuel power source. Its battery is used for regenerative braking where the kinetic energy of a train is converted into braking. The first hybrid locomotives appeared in the early 20th century. In 1986, Czechoslovak locomotive manufacturer CKD built the first hybrid locomotive, the DA 600. The locomotive was powered by a 190 kW diesel engine and four electric motors. 
with overall power up to 360 kilowatts powered from batteries. Trams is another feather in the cap for the technological world. The history of trams began in the first years of the 19th century in South Wales, UK, where a small part of the Swansea and Mumbles Railway, located in cities, was recomposed to be used for trams. That very first tram model does not have many similarities with modern trams. That was just a platform with no walls and seats, pulled by horses, and had no prefair to travel in. Cities with elevation problems like Los Angeles, New York, and Chicago adopted cable trams. Then came the electric ones. This marvel was created in St. Petersburg, Russia by inventor Fyodor Pirotsky in the year 1880. The basic working of that first electric tram remains in use today, gathering electricity from an overhand cable network via panograph or trolley pole. It is because all attempts to build trams with built-in batteries were utter failures. After one year, in 1881, the first regular electric tram line was opened in Lichterfelde, then a suburb of Berlin. After that successful experiment and integration of electric trams in several other European cities, electric trams became commonplace worldwide. Trams' fuel sources can be petrol, compressed air, diesel motors, and hydrogen cells. Some tram trains are double-decker, low-floor, ultra-low-floor, single-ended and double-ended. Metro rail is a word we all are very much familiar with. A city with a metro rail system considerably reduces everyday road traffic. That is, a city becomes much rush-free and smooth-going. These could be running through tunnels, rail bridges, subways, or even tubes. Now let us see who was behind this venture. The first subway system was proposed for London by Charles Pearson, a city solicitor, as part of a city improvement plan shortly after the opening of the Thames Tunnel in 1843. Bullet trains, the whoosh effect that the mankind can ever witness. How many of you have experienced a bullet train ride? How does it feel about moving as quickly as a bullet? Okay, let's talk more about it. Japan started the high-speed train revolution with commitment and is still at the top of the charts. Though its fastest regular operating bullet train, the N700 Shinkansen, can reach a top speed of 186 miles per hour or 300 kilometers slash h. The country's new magnetic levitation magla of development is breaking speed records. The bullet train is a token of the re-emergence of Japan after the war and as a technological and economic power. 1964, October 1 witnessed the launch of the first bullet train in Japan and the first high-speed rail network is known as Yumo Chadaku, which literally means the super express of dreams. Hideyoshima is the brain behind this awe-inspiring invention. Japan's L0 series maglev is the fastest train in the world, with a speed record of 307 to 4 miles per hour or 602 kilometers per hour. It could go the distance from New York City to Montreal in less than an hour. Maglev is currently the world's fastest train. The evolution we have discussed so far is by considering the fuel used and the technology followed. But just look at the picture of a diesel train and a bullet train. The overall design materials used and shape of these cabins have also undergone significant changes. Let us go through that now. As we can guess, the horse-drawn wagons we mentioned at the beginning of this video were made of wood. That is because animals pull it, and wood is lighter when compared to other substances, such as metals. Steam engines had a chamber to burn coal and hence produce steam. The engine had six wheels and the other trolleys were used to carry coal for burning or even passengers. George Stephenson and his son Robert's company Robert Stephenson & Company in 1825 made the first passenger steam engine train at the Stockton and Darlington Railways. As you must have observed, an electric train has a connection wire overhead for energy supply. The whole body is made up of aluminum and steel. Now let us look at a very unique looking one amongst the all the bullet train. The front side of the bullet train is needle-nosed and has been designed inspired by a kingfisher. Yes, this is not a joke. A bullet train is truly a nature-inspired design. This helped the train to skim forward more easily with the least air resistance. Yes, that was all about the historic evolution of trains. What do you feel about the growing railway industry? What do you think the next one of this evolutionary chain could be? If you have any ideas for an advanced version of current running trains, let us know. Feel free to comment below with your valuable suggestions and reactions. This world is limited, but not the potential of the human brain. So let us see what more it has to bring towards us. Thank you for watching this video till the end. Do subscribe to our channel, and if you have liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Till then, goodbye.